Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Now, uh, this episode, uh, well, at least the start of this episode is going to be a bit of an update because I've had a small oopsie um, last night when I was recording another episode for, for this uh, playthrough. It seems somehow my recording settings weren't uh, really set to what they were supposed to be. So right now when I was um, starting to edit the video, the audio was there both the music and, and uh, my voice. However, the screenplay was just a black screen. And uh, yeah, 30 minutes uh, just gone to waste really, uh, which hurts a bit, uh, quite a lot actually. Uh, because uh, last episode was actually quite a lot of fun. We got so much done. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get straight into it and uh, I'll go through a couple of the updates over here. Now... Um, uh, all right, let's zoom out. You can notice there's a massive lake over here and in this part of the map as well. Okay, and that is because over here we managed to build a lot of levees to block this water essentially in. And uh, yeah, that was that was one of the first things we managed to get done. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's really painful. Um, well, if we uh, start from here, actually, we've, we've got some more warehouses. We've got another access point. We've got down some of the forest over here and also in this location. And um, we've uh, put in additional uh, sources of, uh, of power for us as well. So that was quite interesting to, to build that. Pretty time consuming, to be honest, because we've, um, as you can see, we've got the, uh, the power going up all the way to our production area. And uh, carrying on from here, we did build a new new district and uh, we managed to fill up this lake. So the first thing, of course, we had to build this uh, little dam over here. Well, the levees. Uh, so it's not really uh, the dam. It's not going to let any water go through. And we've also got this uh, little canal over here with some... Um, what were they called again? Uh, floodgates, yeah. So we can um, top up the lake when the water starts getting low. Um, right, next thing, let's have a look. So the second outpost, uh, right, we had to build this to create that levy system over here, but also we wanted to take advantage of this uh, nice little fertile land. So we got, a, some, got some extra farms. We're mining those ruins over here as well. Well, not mining, dismantling, let's say. We've got a few cliffside housing units. And a nice massive storage area as well. And a couple of stairs to really uh, start expanding into this zone, which has been our goal since uh, quite a few videos ago, if I remember correctly. And of course, we've got some uh, bumps here as well in case we need some, some more water. Uh, because this lake is quite deep and it can store quite a lot of water. Uh, right, where to next? Um... I guess here we've got some more housing and uh, yeah we've continued across this uh, stream over here uh, some more another forester with some trees being planted and let's take a look what what else is new uh, this has been planted out with uh, with trees I think that might be a little bit new as well and then uh, two more things I really wish I had the recording of that, but we started producing some uh, dynamite and, and metal. So we've got the shredder over here that takes the, the, what is it, the scrap metal and turns it into metal blocks. But we've also got uh, some paper mills that produce paper, which therefore is, uh, is then further uh, used to produce explosives. Um, yeah. Uh, with the explosives, the first thing we did was to connect the the waterfall river system into this lake over here. So it's going to keep this automatically uh, topped up. It also, if you look at those platforms over here, we also use dynamites to um, fill up or create this uh, drench system over here as well. So everything is actually underneath this. There's, there's water. Let me see if I can go down a little bit 
Yep, there we go. Uh, here's some water over here. So that keeps the land fertile and we were able to expand our water system here. Not the water system, sorry, the, um, the farms. And uh, already showed you, but there's one medium-sized uh, storage warehouse and then four, four smaller ones. And it kind of fits here quite, quite nicely. And I think... Let me see, was there anything else? Oh, yes, there is. Uh, we also created this canal over here to bring the water a little bit further. Uh, the only spot that we could not fill up was um, I initially deleted this bath over here, but then none of the beavers would work, would, wouldn't work because the district isn't connected to any building, so we couldn't um, do it over here. So I decided to cut the road back a little bit and then fill it up uh, from from here. So we got some uh, if we go up a little bit. We've got the platforms in this location as well. Um, I think that's. Yeah, I mean, uh, we did a lot of stuff. I mean, this project here by itself took a very massive amount of time. Um, I think the other things that we're kind of getting slowly into is... I don't... I think I don't really love the idea of those platforms. I mean, they look nice along the cliff sides and it makes more sense. But over here... What I want to create is, is some sort of towers system and then using bridges to link them up. Um, I have not built them just yet because they do take metal, metal blocks and they take quite a lot of them. So this one, I think that's the biggest one, 6x1, yeah, that takes 50 metal blocks. And uh, let's have a quick check, uh, two scrap metals turn into one metal block. And right now we don't have a lot of metal, so we're sort of saved it. This one they did start building already, so I don't want to delete it just yet. I saw I do want to plan it out first where the towers go and what we can have there. For example, here we've got the beaver statues. Uh, until I'm really sure what I want to have and how I want to have it, um, I'm just going to leave it as it is for the time being. Then what else? I think... I think that's pretty much it. We did have... I mean, it is on normal difficulty, and I shouldn't really say that we've got some serious water problems, but uh, sometimes we do, because um, the way we've planned this out isn't the best. I mean, it is pretty new game for me as well, so I'm still learning uh, what are the um, uh, dips and tricks in this, uh, this, this game and uh, how to do things better. But uh, yeah, we, we've got quite a lot of water pumps over here and sometimes, you know, if I forgot to forget to turn them on, then uh, all this land's gonna turn into barren land again. And uh, yeah, the mistakes are definitely made. Um, but I think with the tour, we're pretty much done now. Uh, if I remember correctly, the, uh, the goal, let me just zoom out a little bit more. I'm quite happy about this over here, this massive lake. The next plan really is to, I think for the time being, we can leave this as it is. It should be self-sufficient for, for quite some time. They got water and then got access to food. Uh, we just have to keep our, uh, our eye on trouts for the main colony, but the, uh, the second colony here, or the district, should be pretty uh, pretty fine over there. Uh, in the in the last recording as well, which obviously you're not gonna see uh, because I messed it up, but uh, I, I I was initially under the assumption that uh, that with the explosive factory they don't produce it like everything else gets produced. I thought it's based on demand. So once you place the explosives down, uh, it, it seems I was wrong. They still keep making more explosives uh, as long as they've got resources. So. Um, uh, yeah, the only way to manage that is just pausing the building, uh, really. Uh, which is fine, because it consumes paper, and paper here is renewable. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. Um, our plans for, for this episode now is... Uh, I want to extend this canal a little bit. I did want to have... Um, 
like a waterfall over here. So what I'm thinking is, we'll bring this canal around and then down from here. So that way, um, I can prove that I do have the explosives as well. Uh, yeah, it, it is very embarrassing, to be honest. So let's set up a few in here. And same, I think, in this location. Yeah. Going to get rid of this road over here. And let's put in some more dynamites. With the priority as well, we're going to put it on max priority. And another thing, I think two episodes ago, we still had housing units here as well. So I've stripped them out uh, because I did build this additional housing section. Uh, well, the apartments over here. Oh, we got another trout coming in soon. That should be interesting. Let's have them uh, finish this here first. Uh, I spotted something. We do not want to do this because we start losing water straight away, which actually is not going to be an issue. We still got three days, so we should be able to build this. Um, uh, what is it called again? The floodgate. Yep, there we go. Now let's watch them build this out. Speed up the time a little bit as well, so it's going to be quicker. We should have quite a lot of builders, so that should not take a very long time. And we've got the maturity built. Just waiting for... And here we go. Let's slow the time even further. And here it slowly comes. Wow, look at that water. It just bounced from the floor. Uh, that was interesting. Okay, so now the plan is is going to be... Um, we want to block this off. So that way we can control this in the, in the future. And for this, we're just going to fill it in. Like so. Let's increase the priority on that. those structures here too. I want to build the floodgate first, and then we get the rest done. Actually, let's connect you up first as well, because that road is fairly important. We do have an alternative road over here, but um, let's try and get this built. Okay, and that should be our irrigation uh, pretty good now. I think over here, since we have quite a few beavers living... What is it? 120. The five of those were not enough. So we are going to have to put some more water tanks in this location. But I'm still not sure if this is going to be the permanent setup over here. I guess... Let's see. What does it cost to build a bigger one? Gears and blanks. Well, it's not the most expensive one. So let's figure out a way... We've got the stairs just underneath. And then... Um, let's do it like so. I do think we're going to have to remove one of those. Uh, but that depends how we're going to want to build this tower. I still have to figure this out. And we'll we'll do it in one of the episodes. I'm not sure if it's going to be today on, or in the next one. But we'll try and come up with uh, some sort of a design for it. Uh, right. This is now closed. Good. Uh, you shouldn't overfill. Okay, we'll let it update. I think there was just too much water flowing in. Yeah. Give it a second. Should catch up with the rest. I hope. Mm. Right. It should just disappear. Okay, there we go. It just takes quite a bit of time. Uh, but that is fine. Right, 2.3 days for the flood. The, um, on the normal setting, they're not too severe. So we're um, 
quite okay. We've we've got our situation with food and logs is is very good. I think yeah, thousand five hundred here, and this one's just producing a ridiculous amount of food as well. So we could even just export some of the food into the main colony. Now, we are also trying to raise the levy, uh, raise the um, the border over here with the levies, because I was thinking of raising up this lake a little bit further, and for that. We might just block in this area over here. So we got some more more space to work with. Now that I think about it, probably should have not put this in the middle. And would have been smarter to have it on the side. But hey, it's it's done, so so it's okay. Uh oh yeah, we have this bump over here because this whole area, once we built the built the levees up it was flooded so we needed a few bumps in here just to uh, get rid of all the extra extra water and uh, also now I actually do remember I initially wanted to have like a massive tower here with with housing units and do like a bit of a high rise uh, but then I thought this might be actually more more interesting rather than just having like a boring tower over here why not just naturally start building up and and see how it goes. I mean, here we could put a few more uh, platforms and then just go up from here, have a few more houses. It would be actually really nice as well if we could irrigate this. But that probably um, we means we need the water dumps. Now, I know this game is in early access and I'm sure this is going to be updates. Uh, one thing that I'm really looking forward to is is having some sort of pipe system. For example, when this water pump is pumping water, of course, it would be cool if we could connect it with pipes that go into the water dump. So that way we could um, uh, have some lakes that get um, automatically dumped water if the level of the water falls really, really low. That would be something that's... Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to have if they're ever planning to do updates like that. Uh, but okay, let's... Uh, how much more time? The, okay, we've got 1.5 days until the crowd comes in. Uh, there's this lovely space over here. So I do want to put some sort of um, a storage unit system right in the middle. I did play around also with a couple of different designs. So maybe that's one thing we could do today if I try and remember what it looked like. Uh, so first of all, I really want to get rid of those trees. But I feel bad if we just delete them. Actually, we've got so many trees on reserve over here. So yeah, let's just do this. Hmm. All right, another night time. We'll let the beavers do their thing. I think another thing, since since there's no houses here anymore, those campfires are quite far from the housing unit, so we could try and relocate all of those. Ooh, another thing we should have here is a temple. I've never built this carousel, so that would be interesting to build as well. Oh, this temple is massive um, nope. right so once we plop it down that's it really so let's be smart about the placement I don't want to build it too close in case I want to relocate the road and build some um, what's it called the, um, the campfires oh sorry now the towers over here so let's not build it there because it's going to be uh, slightly more expensive to, to delete and rebuild. Um, and I sort of want to have like a courtyard in here. So let's take a look. The entrance was somewhere here. That tree is in the middle. Can we do another campfire? 
we can. And it fits very nicely. It connect you like so. And maybe a couple more. How long is this? Four or five? That looks off, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need this road. They can go around. Let's get rid of this here. Which means... In the middle, we could plant some trees here as well. Couple of these. Oh, can we do this first? I hope we can. We could always just pause this. I thought we had... No, we don't have the forester here anymore. I did have it for in, instead of those houses. Yeah, in that location. But it seems I've, I've deleted it, so let's build... Um, build another forester. Just temporarily. And we'll place you just over there. Um, right, I think that's... Uh, Pretty much what we want. Any decorations? Could do a awesome beaver statue here. Yeah. Uh, blanks and logs, so that's okay. And then over over here, another campfire. If, it, if it's going to be in the way, then we can almost delete it. That's no problem at all. And those trees are going to block the view a little bit. But they would look quite lovely over here, so... We'll build a couple of these guys. Can we... I wonder how big is the carousel. Let's take a look. Ooh... Ooh, hang on. Now that is massive. Could potentially have it... Does it have to be on the ground? No, it does not say that. Yeah, we can build the carousel elsewhere. Ah, oh, this is just perfect. Due to another campfire. Right here. I think we're gonna do it. It would be really, also really nice to have this area here fertile. But... I don't think it's gonna happen. Unless we drop some water from the top over there. But it's already fully developed. I uh, could do it in the middle here actually. That means we're going to lose. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll see how it, how it goes. Yeah, let's leave it for the time being. And we'll ask the beavers to finish building all that stuff. I think everything here was done, right? Oh, they're still cutting down those trees. Maybe speed it up a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, that brings us very close to the end of this housing section over here. Uh, they've got me uh, quite a few apartments. I mean, I'm, I am... Uh, let's do it this way. I'm going to have to build a couple more platforms in here so we can uh, start using the middle and the top house as well. And now we also got entertainment for them. So that should be pretty good. Uh, we do have a bit of space here, so if we wanted to build another platform for some reason. We could always do that, uh, but I don't really know why. Oh, and this water tank is already full. Uh, that's nice. Maybe some more water tanks, since they're all pretty, pretty full. How much space do we have? One over here. I think what would be nicer here actually is some, uh, some trees. Can you reach this area? No, you cannot. Okay, we may have to... Oh, uh, actually. No, it seems to be out of bounds. You could always build a path down here as well. 
Uh, now another water tank. Uh, it's in 0 0.2 days, so a bit too late. Let's see, we could do one over here. One in the back. Or something like this, and then put some roads, stairwells. Okay, we'll see how it goes. And we've got our temple, which brings the well-being up to 8. And I do believe we should be able to play with the Iron Teeth now as well. Yeah. But for the for the time being, we're still going to continue with the Folk Tales. Because uh, there's still quite a bit I wanted to do on this on this map over here. I think in the next, uh, next time when I uh, do the other faction, we'll might pick a slightly smaller map okay the drought has started let's pause all of you guys oh wait you're already paused and turn you off as well yeah we want to keep this water up here okay that's good and this one's paused here as well yeah definitely have to uh, relocate uh, these guys now what else they're still working so that's good hmm and we got a few more campfires here as well a couple of the viewers are already checking checking this out too which is lovely and we also have this beaver statue which looks very cool if we could only zoom in a little bit more oh this camera is fast don't think we're gonna get a good angle on this. Oh, here we go. Yep, that looks pretty cool. Uh, this one's paused, uh, but that's fine. We've got some trees planted as well, so that's gonna make it look a little bit nicer. And then what we could also do, since we have a bit of space here, let's just keep putting some more trees in here. Of course, we can't get to the back anymore, so that's gonna have to stay as it is. But over here, yep, that's definitely going to make it look a little bit nicer. I think with these bumps, I might as well just get rid of them. Hmm, I'll think about it. Might keep them just for an emergency. Right, the drought is about eight days long. But that is okay. Resource-wise, we might pause. Now, nah, let's keep the dynamite on. Right now we're supplying 400 horsepower because those water wheels are not working. We can get rid of those campfires now. Nice, a bit more space over here to work with. So next... Um, get to more of this. Maybe we'll reduce the uh, the tree um, plantation a little bit. Because, I mean, once we got a thousand logs in here, that's already um, uh, way more than what we actually need. Planks as well, 450. That's heaps. Gears, they're fine as well. So, yeah, that's, that's all looking very lovely. And they've cleared up this area over here as well. So, essentially, what we were thinking is uh, how did it go I've sort of forgotten already oh I think I do remember now was it something like oh yeah something like this Then we were gonna have. We need to go back a little bit. Oh, there's trees in the way over there. Could remove one of them. And a couple more storages. I think in the middle. 
Hmm. Let's try this out real quick. Uh, it might not be the final design, but guess for the time being. Uh, no, I don't think that's what we wanted to do. Yeah, I think it was more like so. Well, I'm going to play around with this a little bit. See what happens. See what we can come up with. Uh, and then uh, I'll make sure I record it properly in the next one as well. For the time being, uh, that's going to be the end of uh, this episode. So thank you very much for watching and I do hope to see you again.